What's good, people? This your boy Molly Music right here, and this is Hip Hop DX. Let's get it. Being signed is all the way different. Um, only because uh, with investment comes preference. You know what I mean? And uh, and I'm a person. I mean, I engineer my session. I record them. You know, I do the initial mix. <clears throat> I produce them. Um, I, just, I have to do everything with it. So by the time I bring something to a studio, I'm in love with it. So then it's like, oh, we're going to take this, we're going to take this, you should change this, you should add this. That kind of affects your heart a little bit. You're like, ouch. You know, but now I'm, I'm learning like the heart of it and, and everybody's uh, desire for it. And everybody just wants it to be the best thing it could be. So like I learned to kind of loosen up and open up, still stand strong on the things that I would never, ever change. But, you know, be open to, you know, probably like taking an 808 out or adding a verse or something like that. So, yeah, it's it's good. And um, the machine is, is amazing. You know what I mean? It We can we can do in a day what it would have taken us, I don't know, several months to be able to just save up for it. <clears throat> probably would have had to do mad shows, went on the whole tour, get the finances, find the director or whatever. So now they have an arsenal and all this stuff. It's just a, it's just a machine that that, you know, really can speed up a process and make it look and be a lot more powerful than it ever could be, you know, alone. You can have the effect, but it'll take years. So I'm grateful for the uh, opportunity and the capacity to do in a moment what it would have taken, you know, seven years to accomplish. Yeah. So I think the, you know, the, the greats found a, a system. You know, like you have Michael, and yeah, everybody was screaming that, but it was the things that, it was the times that he might have gotten his heart crushed on a verse or a melody that he was in love with, you know what I mean? That his team might have been like, mm, you know, but not so much. Let's not let's not do that. And I like that. So I was heavily inspired listening to, um, what's what's the guy's name? Um, Michael Jackson's um, man. Y'all gonna crush me for that. Quincy? Because <laughs> <laughs> there was so many people going through my head. But I think everybody should have that. So you know, with Mark Pitts. You know, and all, all this work he did with Biggie, all this stuff that he just has been doing with J. Cole and uh, Chris Brown, Miguel, just his input is awesome. And uh, and he's really, really true to the streets. So he adds that aspect, that edge to what I bring, you know, whether it's melody, whether in my verses, whatever it is. So, I mean, I love it. It's a, it's a great experience and it's just gonna make me stronger.